Um, but if a husband cannot compromise and instead he starts to pressuring her, making her wrong and blaming her, a woman has one of the worst qualities. When she feels injustice towards herself, when a man doesn't compromise and he's constantly making her wrong, what she wants to do then, not just hurt him back and hurt kids back by not cooking or taking care of them because she becomes cold because he is not taking her emotions and doesn't support her, who she is danger to also. Herself. Yes. Mm. A man, if he's angry at his wife or woman, he would want to revenge her and hurt her. Do you think he will ever want to hurt himself? No, never. No. And that's how a woman becomes really dangerous because a woman has a very powerful energy that is not inter uh, that is not a surface, like a man are very strong on the outside, they can go to war and win, but woman is a very much stronger than him internally. And a woman has a power, either cursing yeah. or blessing. And so if a woman feels over time a lot of injustice, she can hurt him, kids, and herself. That is so true. If a man can really handle this ball of huge emotions that a woman experiences, and he can give in and support her through that, really deep in our heart, we think this is the Oh my God, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, not a cheater, not drinking, not doing the drugs, but at the core, this is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Who can handle our emotions. But if we're not doing the spiritual work, they're not gonna follow. And then they cannot really stand our emotions because mm -hmm. to them it's too much. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> because people are taught here, corporations are taught that you gotta work nine to five nine to seven and people are overextending themselves sometimes they work until seven and eight work 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 they make the work as a nurse right mm -hmm. priority and priority and then a woman is exhausted mm -hmm. and woman is not designed to work 40 hours a week i say that to my therapy session mm -hmm. so the first session right away if you think that you're going to work 40 hours and going to be ha happy emotional and healthy it's not going to work because we're not designed to work if a woman works 40 hours a week she shifts to masculine mm -hmm. if she shifts to masculine she will be attracting feminine men and when a woman works like that she becomes bitter aggressive exhausted and stressed and so i'm not talking about what everybody is preaching here in the united states and western europe because it's not yeah. Mm -hmm. Question about forgiveness. When you say you have to forgive somebody, you think that you've forgiven them, and then you get this angry feeling come back at you, like weeks later. That means you're not. That How do you know not. that you've fully forgiven somebody? Because people really hear forgive intellectually, and I see people who go to church. Ah, they say, yeah, yeah, forgive him, and yeah, yeah, forgive. It's all intellectual work, and that's why there's a very powerful priest in Russia that I really love and I admire. He says people who are really think that they have a connection to God by going to church once a month, even once a week or once a year, they don't have relationship with God at all. We have to have a relationship with higher power on our own. And when we do it on a daily basis, that's what starts to work. That's when we really forgive, not intellectually, but emotionally. And people who just lay down and they meditate or pray, that doesn't work. If they walk around or drive to work, that's not a prayer or meditation. They gotta be a specific space, a time, in the morning or in the evening when there's quiet and you really have this time to relationship with higher power to God. And when you do the prayer or meditation, that way you come to real forgiveness in the heart. Or that takes also many years in therapy to get mm -hmm. to that space. And you gotta go through psychoanalysis and really dive into your dive into your childhood and work with your dramas and nurture that's another way i want to go and explain a little bit more about this uh, feminine power because internally we again have a power that we can either bless or we can curse someone and this is how it works so by the way question to you if somebody likes a man or dislikes a man if somebody likes you or dislikes you is that a feminine or masculine energy mm -hmm. If somebody likes your man or dislikes your man, is that a feminine or masculine energy? 
I'm not sure. What else? The energy of like. Is that masculine or feminine? Liking someone? Liking someone. Is that a feminine or masculine energy? Masculine. 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 masculine energy. It's a feminine energy. So you have to understand here. If your husband, if your boyfriend that you've been at least for two years is doing good financially and climbing the ladder at work or in his business, it's not just because he's working hard. It's because you love him and you're sending the blessing to him mm -hmm. and how you like him, the world likes him. Mm -hmm. That's the power of a woman's blessing. So, for example, <sighs> so many people in Zook said, I like Eddie so much more after he met you. <laughs> Do you get that? Totally. <laughs> Same oh, thing so with my true. husband. Uh, <laughs> I can say about, uh, I, can, I can share about. Because spiritually, a man, prov uh, a God provides to man money, not for him, <laughs> but for him to take care of his wife and children and then him so all the money allocated from god to again to his wife and to his kids so if a man wants to make more money he needs to be responsible for his wife and kids and so if a woman gives the blessing people like him partners like him bosses like him he's gonna start climbing the ladder he's gonna start getting more money income bonuses if she doesn't like him, it's a curse. Mm -hmm. He not gonna get promotion. People not gonna like him. He not gonna be climbing the ladder because that's how she curses him. That's fascinating. Yeah. If divorce happens, ninety percent. Who do you think is responsible? Woman. Woman. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Why <laughs> divorce? <laughs> the reason why woman gets punished spiritually for the next seven years she not gonna find a good man god not gonna provide her with a good man because she needs to learn a lesson why is that because she's responsible for family relationship marriage and kids what is man responsible for providing, providing and protection. and protection this is not his job so if a man starts to say, we're going to divorce, I'm going to start cheating on you, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to give you money for this and that. He's behaving like that because his wife is not educated. Wow, girl, this is fascinating. I have to distance now, how long I need to distance, because if a woman distance for this six months, if a woman is not pregnant or she has cancer or complication, a man cannot be without sex for six months. He's going to start looking for a woman. But if she distance him, uh, from him for two three months because he's misbehaving and she's doing the prayer or meditation as she's changing he will start changing as well mm -hmm. that's how a woman is again responsible for a marriage